fuel, water, and feed. We're gonna pay off every last one of them, son, but it'll take most everything we got. It was that last crop, huh, Dad? Yeah, it was a big disappointment. Hey, but just ask yourself, what's the worst that can happen? They can't break us. They can't split us up. Hey, remember, we got Mom up in heaven looking out for us. Another blanket? Okay. Good night, Tiger. Good night, Dad. Dad? I can't believe you brought the mail with you. I'm not the one who sent out those... Mailers. Whatever. Sending us all over the country looking for a scarecrow. Come on. Did you bring the uh, letter? I didn't write down the address. Yeah, it's right here. Charles Cobain, Riverdale. You know, this letter looks a little bit strange. Let's it's... not go into any problems, okay? It's probably somebody who doesn't like rural art. It came because we sent out the mailers, so the mailers are a good idea, right? Yeah, okay, well, the next time you answer them. Here's a note from Jack, a postcard. Mm. Managed to pull himself away from the beach is long enough to write, huh? <laughs> oh, it's going to take another week or two before he finds the Icarus feather. Thanks again. Well, we didn't miss it by much. It's about six miles down that road back there. What do you got there? Oh, seeing as we're in the country, I thought I'd pack a picnic lunch. Catch. Where'd you get this? In the drawer by the fridge. Yeah? Well, it was there for a reason. Ryan, I didn't mean anything by it. Okay. It's nothing. I never heard of either one of you. I never got no mailer. As for who wrote this note offhand, I'd say somebody's been pulling your leg. But you did buy that scarecrow from our uncle, didn't you? Oh, yes. It burned up in a crop fire three years ago. And unless you'd care to strain the North 40 for ashes, we've got nothing more to discuss. Thank you. Oh, by the way, um, before we go, you wouldn't mind terribly if I used your... Back there. Thanks. I'll be right back, dear. Keep talking. 
So, looks like you got a pretty thriving farm here. What kind of crops you grow? I didn't see any. Well, uh, the harvest has mostly just come in. business. I didn't ask you to come, but I'm asking you to leave. So what do you think? They were lying through their teeth. Burton, a crab fire. We know the antiques can't be destroyed. We found that out the hard way. <laughs> well, what now? Well, we're here scouting antiques. Let's scout. We're not going to get in on this side. What's around the corner? What's that? What? Over there on the hill. What is it? It's a crossbeam for a scarecrow. Where's the scarecrow? Who the hell are you? What do you think you're doing? We might ask the same of you. How do you do? I'm Mickey Foster. This is Ryan Dalion. We're antique dealers. We were seeing the co-beans. I'm afraid our curiosity got the better of us. You want to watch it? Bite you. From the city, huh? I'm Marge Longacre. I live over there a piece. I was just taking some of my special tea over to calm their boy, Nick. He looked like he could use some calming. Oh, you met him? I'm surprised Charlie and Tootie met you. He's, uh, they're always very careful to keep him protected. Since, well, there's none of mine. Staying long, are you? Oh, for a couple of days. We were planning on hunting down some things. You know any place we can stay? Well, now you've just asked the $64 question. I happen to be owner of the Long Acre Inn and entire staff. And it's not only the nicest place in town, but the only place. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a monopoly. <laughs> yes. Well, you just amble on over there. It's not hard to find. It's right in the center of town. I understand we've had some visitors. I got fresh linen for you anyway. I could have done a whole lot better if I'd had a little notice. Oh, that's fine. Is that you? Me and my husband. He was a farmer, and he buried him. I'll go freshen your rooms. Nice lady. You know, Ryan, when we were at the farm, and Mr. Cobean was putting his son back in his room, his wife tried to tell me something. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, maybe she'll get back to us.
she lay there in the coffin. And her lips were cold. Let me explain. Now, just a minute. I'll explain. Wherever there is a superstition, the hullabaloo. Stay back. There's been an accident. But by the time he got that door open, there was no one in sight, except the body. It was dark. I didn't see anyone. You got anything to add? Not a thing. I was upstairs. Sheriff? Yeah, excuse me. So much for the official story. Now tell me what you saw. It was the scarecrow come to life. That leather mask. And I had a picture of her pinned to its front. It had a huge blade with a handle. What do you call them? A, a scythe. It must have just cut her head off. Well, that's a tall tale. That'll surely hit the papers. Don't try to impress your friend with nonsense like that. Stories have a way of spreading in a small town. And I wouldn't like you out one bit. You read me? Good. Stains off the porch. Oh, a little lemon juice does the trick. Yeah. Your guests around? Nope. Oh, don't worry. The things are still around. Well, you know where they went. I gotta ask them a few questions. About last night? Yeah. That girl had the strangest story about some scarecrow coming after Tootie with a scythe. 
Sounds pretty crazy to me. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? And I got the coroner's report back. It said that the murder weapon was a long, sharp blade. And I found this in Tootie's hands. Here she is. Ooh, we'll definitely want that. Is fifty dollars okay? Oh, okay. You wouldn't happen to know of anyone else who might like to sell things? Oh, sure. Uh, past few years have been mighty hard, and the farmers uh, they'd be happy to have a few extra dollars. <laughs> hmm, really? Well, we went out to see the Cobeans, and they didn't seem too interested. Oh, that doesn't surprise me. Wait, their crops been sprouting up the past few years. <laughs> They're hardly in need of any petty cash. Been doing pretty well, huh? Yeah, they bought up all the farms around them. <laughs> Used to be, Charlie couldn't raise fleas on a dog. <laughs> then, all of a sudden, his buck changed. Overnight, like rainstorms, they used to wash everyone else out, never even touched him. <laughs> never saw such luck. Until last night. Oh, yeah. yeah, I heard about that. Has there been a lot of violence around here? A lot of murders? Murders? Oh. How about um, disappearances? People just suddenly missing? Oh, well, with the way the farmers have been failing, well, some folks just sort of skip out ahead of the bill collectors. <laughs> Anybody skip out that uh, surprised you? Most recent was uh, Dave Mino, uh, about a week or so ago. A nice guy. He, he was the kind of guy that he, he'd walk a mile to pay you back a penny. And uh, him and his boy, they just vanished. Looks like they're heading for Dave's old place, boy. You really like that little redhead, don't you, boy? I can see it. But she's a wild one. Wild little filly. Got a breaker for her. You can ride her. Break her good. to call this home. God's name's going on, Ryan. Mm -hmm. Charlie lies about having a scarecrow. Scarecrow's killing people. Charlie's crops thrive. Seems pretty clear to me. Yeah, well, there's one missing factor. Where is it? Yeah.
Jordy Mino, Dave's son. Yeah, I yeah. found him inside. Looks like he'd been there for a while. Where's your pappy, boy? Uh, offhand, I'd say, uh... Yeah. Well, it's kind of a good thing I'm impatient. I got tired of waiting to come looking for you. Looks like there's a little truth to that scarecrow story. Knowed him since he was born. At least it puts an end to all this. Well... I reckon we have to talk to Charlie. Man lost his whole family in one night. I'm gonna have to talk to you too. Look, uh, officer, I, I, don't, I don't mind if he stays with me as long as we're in town for a while. We've well, got an aunt down south somewhere. Might take him a while to track her down. How's the little soldier? Got them all cleaned up. Thanks for the towels and stuff. Oh, it's nothing. Looks like a little Christian soldier again, huh? Still hasn't said a word? No. Well, I wouldn't wonder after what he's been through. If he pipes up, you give a holler. I'll know just what to do. You've been great. Thanks. Anyway, so I say to Mickey, Mickey, how would you like to look like that guy? And he gets the oddest expression on his face. Then I realized that both our windows were down and he heard every word. I handled it pretty well, though. I slid down out of my seat, let Mickey deal with it until the light changed. You think that's pretty funny, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pouring my heart out to you here. Try to get some sleep, huh, guy?
sleep getting there. That some kid. He certainly latched on to you, almost as though he knew you. I felt it too. He reminds me of... Uh... Of who? <sighs> Jimmy. The one on the baseball? My brother. We were uh, out playing baseball on the street one day, and uh, this truck came by and uh, jackknifed. I saw it coming, and there was nothing I could do. It's a uh, hard thing to learn when you're nine years old. Uh, that people die, and that it's forever. Jordy reminds you of him, huh? <laughs> You don't even look a thing like James, but something. Anyway, what'd you find out? Three people go missing every harvest. So far this year, only two have, Dave Mino and Mrs. Cobean. And the harvest only has two days to go. The scarecrow has to find another victim, and soon. If only we had something to go on. I... I... I think... I can help you. didn't see his face at all. But he was wearing a, a long black raincoat with a, with a big black hat, with a big brim. Well, we know what he's wearing. That doesn't help us find the scarecrow. One time, my dad and me, we went to Mr. Cobain's. It was real boring, so I snuck into the barn. There. There was something hanging. I didn't get a good look at it, but it was a scarecrow. A scarecrow? You got the flashlight? It should be in the car. It sure looks good on you, Tiger. Now, once you show us how to get in, I want you to duck out of sight until we give you the all clear, OK? OK. All right. Oh, no. What? My license is missing. When was the last time you saw it? I don't know. Yesterday. I... The picture was on it. My dad. He lost a picture a couple days before. Mrs. Kobe, her picture was pinned to the shirt of that. That must be how the scarecrow finds its victims. Vicky, we've got to get you someplace safe. Um, the sheriff's, just in case. I still don't understand about Nick. The killer wanted the sheriff to think that Nick was a scarecrow so he wouldn't dig any deeper. He's not going to stir things up by having it go for you at the sheriff's. Jordy, come on. Sheriff! Huh. We hoped you'd be here. Well, I just got here. Kind of late for you three to be out, ain't it? Uh, well, something came up. I've got to run an errand. Do you think it'd be OK if I stayed here? I mean, in view of everything that's happened. I just don't want to. Yeah, sure, I understand.
Here's your hands off of that. Now, Charlie, why don't you just scurry on back to your hole? You killed my wife. And my boy, too. You brought him here and you dressed him up. And you took him over to Mino's place. He would have never done anything like that on his own. Well, it stops here, Marge. It stops right here. Well, listen to the big noise. I mean it, my God! Charlie, don't get so head up. You are a good looking man. You, you, you keep away. Charlie, I swear to you, I never meant to hurt you or yours. I never did. Lord, I brung that tea for Nick all the time when he was feeling so bad. you good when you was gonna sell cheap, didn't I? And didn't I always make sure you got in a good crop every year? Didn't I? Well, then, come on now. Put that gun down. And let's have some fun. Don't look at it, Joy. It's getting late. Yeah. I mean, late in the year. Harvest is almost in. People around here don't talk a whole lot, do they? Not unless they got something to say. Well. That would make it kind of easy to keep a secret. I mean, if people never say anything. That is assuming that people do have secrets. Oh, I've got lots of secrets. Are you cold? Yeah, a bit. I'll get you a blanket. in here somewhere. He was wearing a long black raincoat. Hey! Lock your door! What are you doing? No answer is the sheriff. What's that thing? Huh? Some kind of contract. Bill of sale. The farm. Charlie sold the farm more than three years ago. To who? Oh, no. 
Come on. What is it? Come on! What? God. You just look like you walked on your own grave. No, no, I'm okay. In fact, I'm fine. You haven't seen Ryan, have you? No, honey. No, honey. It's just us girls. Marge, I really appreciate what you're doing. Yes, yes. You just relax. That's something you city folks never seem to learn. That's it. You just lay back. I'll take care of everything. Marge! You locked the door! <gasps> Keep warm, come on. Look, 
there's nothing to worry about, okay? Thanks. Hey, Tiger. Got something for you. That's what my dad used to call me. Yeah? Well, it's just an old... old baseball. Thanks, Ryan. Who's Jimmy? Jimmy? Well, when I was a kid, I thought you were... Well, that about wraps her up. You know, there's one thing still nagging at me. What's that? That scarecrow. After it killed all those people, what did it do with the heads? <laughs>